George Zimmerman. Talk about a person that you don't want to hear about during the course of your day. You want to ruin a person's day, just be like, hey, George Zimmerman did something or said something again. That will ruin a person's day. So, yeah, George Zimmerman is suing Pete Buttigieg over a tweet. Suing Pete Buttigieg, suing Liz Warren for defamation of character. They're sitting there saying he's a murderer, he's a white supremacist, and you know what? He's sick of it. George Zimmerman is sick of the oppression. He's tired of Pete Buttigieg tweeting about him. He's tired of Elizabeth Warren talking about him. And so this just happened. I just read about this yesterday, February 21st, 2020. And uh, Pete tweeted that Trayvon would have been 25 years old today. He said he had stopped white supremacy. Right? So Pete Buttigieg, when it comes to white supremacy, he's really good on And he talks about how many 25th birthdays have been stolen from us by white supremacy, gun violence, prejudice, and fear. Now, because I guess Pete's got 1.6 million Twitter, Twitter followers, and Elizabeth Warren has 3.6 million Twitter followers, I want to say, well, was it Elon Musk? He called somebody a pedo guy, and then that guy sued him and won his defamation case. So I guess this is George Zimmerman saying, you know what, Pete Buttigieg and Elizabeth Warren, you want to tweet about me? You want to tweet about me? I'm going to sue you for $265 million motherfucking dollars because, you know, that's a, an appropriate amount. $265 million, how much is a life worth, right? People get away with, like, a million dollars maybe. So you kill somebody, they pay their family off, you know, 500000 300000 This guy doesn't want just $1 million, he wants $265 fucking million. $265 million, that was an expensive tweet. Oops, shouldn't have tweeted that out. But what did Pete say? That, you know, first of all, it's, uh, it's implicated, so it's not, you know, straight up saying he is a white supremacist who's a racist and he's scared and gun violence. No, no. He didn't say it outright and specific, and even if he did, that's, uh, it's up to the American people to discern. They're not a news organization. They're tweeting out, you know, their interpretation of the damn thing. But what the fuck? Jesus Christ. It's, I'm talking, I don't want to hear about no fucking George goddamn Zimmerman in the middle of Bernie's ascent to the White House now. George Zimmerman's in the conversation. It's the Freedom Watch. Larry Clayman is the lawyer who's suing him. So Larry Clayman is taking up the mantle of defending George Zimmerman's rights. So Larry Clayman. Hell yeah, Larry Clayman. Yeah, so George Zimmerman suing somebody for defamation of character for doing some shit that he actually did. Yeah, in related news, Pontius Pilate is suing the Bible for defaming his character. Pontius Pilate looks like a total asshole in that book. So do the Jews. Hell, the Jews could sue the Bible for defaming their character, too. I mean, is that true? That's fake news. Pontius Pilate should sue the Bible. It made Pontius Pilate look like a real You killed Jesus, Pontius Pilate. I mean, that defamed your character. Hitler and Tojo are also suing the history books, right, for Pearl Harbor and, you know, the concentration camps. Hitler and Tojo are suing the history books. Pontius Pilate suing the Bible. In Saudi Arabia, they're going to sue the video cameras. You know, because they're getting defamated over 9-11. Yeah, it was Saudi Arabians who did 9-11. And yeah, the video cameras showed 9-11 happening. But, you know, they're going to sue the truth because that's the best. That's so stupid. That is so dumb. If Hitler or Tojo punches Pilate, Saudi Arabia, you know, claimed their character are being impugned and defamed and therefore they needed, you know, someone to defend it. Uh, yeah, they, you are being, you know, your character is being defamed. That's true, George Zimmerman. But George Zimmerman, you murdered a man. You killed the man. You were following him. He was walking through, just going to his house, had Skittles and tea in his hand, and you were following him. You were stalking him. He needed to be afraid of you. And you killed and shot him. You approached him. He didn't approach you. He was minding his own goddamn business. You're the one sitting in a fucking car, staring at him, following him, calling, you know, law enforcement, then you're eventually going to murder him. So you stalked him, you followed him, you used violence, and why did you do it? Why did, were you afraid of a black man in a hoodie? You're just terrified? Oh, shit, here's a black man in a hoodie. We better, you know, just uh, stop and frisk, throw him up against the wall, pull Michael Bloomberg. So yeah, George Zimmerman, you might have won your court case, you might still have your freedom, but you didn't win the 
court of public opinion, at least not with me, not with, you know, Pete Buttigieg and Elizabeth Warren. You're putting me on the side where i got to defend Pete Buttigieg? Jesus Christ. So, George Zimmerman, you murdered a man. You did that. You took another person's life. Them's the facts. You got bloody hands. So shut the fuck up. You lost in the court of public opinion, at least with reasonable folks who could look at the evidence and, the, you know, deduce what happened. Your bloody hands defamed you. You defamed yourself, George Zimmerman. Jesus Christ. God damn, I did not want my day, you know, that's a way to ruin motherfuckers' day. Just say, hey, do you hear about what George Zimmerman did? What, sold his gun for a million dollars? What, published a book? Uh, you know, he's got blood on his hands, and now that's going to be his most famous thing. He's just going to keep, whether he attacked another girlfriend, what, is he more domestic violence? What is George Zimmerman fucking up to today? Yeah, I really want to know that. No, I don't want to know that. George Zimmerman, he just he keeps coming up and basically rubbing everybody's face that he fucking, he got away with murder. George Zimmerman, I feel like you should just shut the fuck up. This is so surreal. This is so surreal. Because a motherfucker murders a person, got away with it with the, you know, bullshit court system, which that's not shocking to me, right? He was acting like an authoritarian, fascist, racist system. Uh, but that doesn't, you know, I saw it, I looked at the evidence, and I got my perspective, and, uh, my perspective is, you know, uh, he's guilty of doing evil, he's vindictive, he's, you know, sick and prejudiced and white supremacist, he's fearful, gun violence, yeah, everything Pete Buttigieg said was 100% right when it comes to who George Zimmerman is. So that's you know my that's my perspective on George Zimmerman is a low life piece of shit. I don't want to fucking hear about any you know everything. Every time I hear about the motherfucker, he's doing some dumb shit. Hey, why don't you go clean a park? Go pick up trash at a park and take a picture of that and see if you get published for that. Jesus Christ! If George Zimmerman's name comes up, I swear to God, why don't we have something good attached to it? George Zimmerman, you know, saves whale. George Zimmerman helps old woman cross the street. George Zimmerman, uh, you know, gives to the black community in some way to. Uh, you know, uh, pay for his everlasting eternal crime of murdering Trayvon Martin in Florida. He's suing up two, and then $265 million. If you're the judge, how do you not laugh right at on the face of this case? How do you not throw this case right back in the fucking lawyer's face? You think he deserves $265 million because of what two assholes on Twitter fucking typed about him? First of all, if you wanted more attention on this thing, now you got it, right? So now people are paying attention to it more. Now it's going to get stirred up even So that's fantastic, right? And, um, it, and now it's going to get bigger. Now it's going to get bigger. So you're thinking what? You're just going to go ahead and sue everybody in the public who doesn't believe in the court verdict? You're going to sue everybody in the public until everybody believes that you're in the right? You're going to just, what, manhandle everybody until everybody believes your perspective? Fuck you, George Zimmerman. Fuck you, George Zimmerman. You're a piece of shit. And uh, you defamed yourself. And you defamed yourself by what you did, by your actions, by murdering a man. And so if I tell, you know, the world that you murdered a man, that's, you know, there's no opinion to that. You did do that. That's absolutely, you know, without a doubt, 100% true. Could you argue that perhaps something or another happened? Maybe. I don't know. I'm pretty certain, you know, when you see two people fighting, they both look like assholes, but if one person's walking by themselves, minding their own business, and then asshole B comes over and starts fuck with asshole A, asshole B, the one who starts it, is in the wrong. The one who initiates the bullshit's in the wrong. He didn't do nothing to you. He didn't say nothing. Was he looking menacing? Was he staring at you like he's going to fight you? Did he pull out a gun? What the fuck were you following him for? Because he had a hoodie? He had a black hoodie on. It's cold, and he had a black hoodie on. That's the reason why you follow somebody. So he, I know he's a stalker. I, I've, you know, I, I have uh, very strong convictions, very strong perspective of this case. So it doesn't matter if he tries to sue me a million goddamn times. It's not going to change what I, you know, think uh, about that thing. I've looked over it. I've paid attention to it. I analyzed it, and you know, I've come up to my conclusion, and I feel nearly a hundred percent right on it. So. Yeah, fuck you, George Zimmerman.